Albert Camus opened The Stranger with the words, Mama died today, or yesterday. I can't be sure. Aldous Huxley began Ape in Essence with, It was the day of Gandhi's assassination. Celeste Ong started Everything I Never Told You with, Lydia is dead, but they don't know this yet. This is what I know. As of 11 a.m. today, there have been 16,673 COVID-related deaths in New York City, another 4,742 deaths reported as COVID, but with no actual test. I know that there have been 102,000 COVID-related deaths in the United States. I know that Derek Chauvin knelt on the neck of George Floyd for at least eight minutes, unmoved by cameras and gasps. I know George Floyd said, I can't breathe. I know Eric Garner could not breathe. I know the power and the insult of turning reality into someone else's metaphor, so I'm not going to. But I will tell you this, the whole country is suffocating. Like my father is suffocating. Under the burden of COPD, of cancer, of radiation scar tissue, and pneumonia, I know he is delirious right now in a hospital in Georgia. A hospital I know is 367 miles exactly from where Ahmed Aubrey was killed. I know that we are measuring time with deaths, with near deaths. We are measuring time with curves and statistics, with graphs that are cold and flat that say, or cannot say, I cannot breathe. I know that the AIDS activist and writer Larry Kramer died yesterday. He opened his novel Faggots with this line, there are 2,556,596 faggots in the New York City area. In 1983, Kramer wrote about the AIDS crisis for a magazine called Gay Men's Health. His article was titled, 1,112 and counting. He was counting the days with documented cases, but it didn't take long until those cases turned to death. In Faggots, he also wrote, there will be seven discos opening this holiday weekend. I don't know which holiday he was talking about, but on Monday, I watched two children's baseball teams playing in Inwood Park. It was Memorial Day. No one was wearing masks. Kramer was saying, everything is business as usual, even in death. Will we let him be right? I know Kramer wanted to light a fire under the asses of the complacent. He was difficult like that, even if they removed that word from his obituary. This was a man who named his novel Faggots. And when he said it, every consonant was hard, just like the R at the end of anger. Yeah. He was a man and not a saint, but he fought anyways, and that's why I care what he would think. I know Kramer wanted people to be set afire. He wanted them to set on fire the systems that were killing them. He wrote, if this article doesn't rouse your anger, fury, rage, and action, you have no future on this earth. He was talking about gay men. He was talking about AIDS and HIV. He was talking about how AIDS and HIV set people up to die of COPD, of lung cancer, of pulmonary kaposi, of acute bronchitis, and even sinusitis can kill you when you have AIDS. God damn. He wasn't talking about Minneapolis, but we can. He wasn't talking about Ferguson, but we can. He wasn't talking about Baltimore, but we can. He wasn't talking about the ends of my father and my mother's cigarette, the gray wisps of smoke rising. But here I stand talking because I can. But Kramer, he was talking about Ronald Reagan who murdered with willful ignorance. And I am talking about Donald Trump, who is murdering with maskless pride. And I am talking about Senator Richard Burr and Senator Kelly Leffler and Senator Dianne Feinstein and Senator James Inhofe. 
each murdering with avarice. I am talking about Travis and George McMichael murdering as family sport. I am talking about Derek Chauvin murdering with a badge on his knee and his knee on a neck. And we are measuring the days in deaths. Three black men are killed by police each day in the United States. We are measuring the days in deaths. In March, one New Yorker died every 17 minutes from COVID. We are measuring the days in deaths. In 1983, Larry Kramer told the whole fucking world that if we did nothing about HIV, it would become everyone's problem. We are measuring the days in deaths. And, hey, the worldwide death count? There have been 32 million HIV AIDS-related deaths since 1980. The knee is on your neck. The virus is on your mask. If you can't see the similarities, maybe you're like Marceau. Maybe you're on the beach of Algeria. Your mother dead today, maybe yesterday. You can't tell. The sun blinding you. The trigger giving against your finger. If you're not breathing fire, maybe you're already dead. If this article doesn't rouse you to anger, fury, rage, and action, maybe you've already suffocated. Thank you.